Distinguished guests, dear participants, I'm very pleased to welcome you to this session. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you in person today, but I would like to stress the importance that the European Commission attaches to this event. E-twinning is a European Union success story. Thousands of schools have used it to make learning more exciting and the professional development of teachers more rewarding. It deserves visibility and recognition. So it is fitting that the purpose of this event is to bring to the attention of policymakers the innovation and cooperation that e-tweening makes possible. E-tweening is a key feature of the European Union's vision for education, which includes enhanced collaboration and mutual learning between European countries. It is by learning from each other that we can help to build a union that is strong in its diversity. From a modest start seven years ago as a part of the former e-learning program, e-tweening has grown into one of the most successful actions of the lifelong learning program. The enthusiastic response it has received from thousands of teachers across the continent has been truly impressive. As a European commissioner responsible for education, I'm very proud of this initiative, which has helped to anchor European cooperation in the everyday life of so many schools. I take this opportunity to pay tribute to all who have contributed to the success of e-tweening. First of all, to the many committed teachers who have embraced this initiative as a way of developing their pupils' competences and their own by trying to make learning more interesting and more relevant for their pupils. They have nurtured their own motivation and have proven their willingness to learn with and from each other. They are, for their pupils, a living example of lifelong learning. Some of them have even gone a step further, acting as ambassadors and helping less experienced teachers to set up their projects and participate in other e-tweening activities. Secondly, a very special thank you has to go to the excellent e-tweening support network, to the European and national organizations that make e-tweening happen. I'm thinking of European Schoolnet, which has played a crucial role in the development of e-tweening and in adapting it to the changing needs of schools and to the new opportunities for collaboration offered by the social media. One of the many tasks of European Schoolnet in e-tweening is the coordination of the national support services appointed by the authorities of the participating countries. The national support services are doing a great job at keeping e-tweening up to date, open, easy and relevant to the needs of schools in their countries. INDIRE, which acts as the national support service for e-tweening in Italy, is a good example. INDIRE has been key to the active role that Italian schools play in e-tweening. Ladies and gentlemen, e-tweening is not just a past and current success story. It has also an enormous potential for the future. I'm confident that this conference will be an opportunity to explore the contribution that e-tweening can make to your own national, regional and local priorities for improving the quality of learning, for encouraging cooperation between teachers and for promoting school improvement. I wish you an interesting and fruitful conference.